This lesson explains the basic use of .NET Explorer for Silk Performer. It covers how to create a new project, create a new test case, add methods to a test case, add verifications to a test case, run a test case, and how to export a project to Silk Performer for inclusion in a load test project. Please note that you must have .NET Framework version 2.0 or higher to run .NET Explorer. You can launch .NET Explorer from the Silk Performer Workbench by selecting Tools .NET Explorer. Once .NET Explorer is loaded, you can create a new project. We'll call this sample project .NET Example. Once we've created the test case, we can follow the steps of the workflow bar from left to right to get our project up and running. Let's begin by clicking Start here. From here we can specify what type of test we'll be running with .NET Explorer. We can test against web services, .NET remoting, and other .NET classes. For this example, we'll load a web service, so let's enter the URL of the Borland Sample web service and click Next. From here we can see all the classes that are associated with this web service. For this example though, there's only one class, Service1. Click Next. Now we could choose methods here to be invoked, but I'm going to invoke some classes further ahead in the workflow. Now that we've created our test case, we can start adding methods to be invoked. We have a list of all the discovered methods here in the Loaded Components window. We can see any web services that exist, and we can invoke any of the associated method calls. If I select a method, we then have the option of invoking the method through the workflow bar. This invocation has now been added to our test case. To change the values that are sent to the web service, we click on the parameter itself and change the input value. I'm going to change this value to hello world. We could also pull values from a random variable if we wanted this parameter to change over time. Now that we've customized our invocation, we can add verifications as well. To do that, we first need to store the value that's returned in a variable. That will allow us to add a verification. Because the value hello world is being sent to the server, we need to confirm that the same value is returned by the server. So now we'll add a verification to do just that. Once we've added our verification, we can run the test case. And we see checkboxes letting us know that the value hello world was sent out and we received the same value hello world in return. We can also check the output here to verify that everything worked correctly. Once we're happy with our test case, we can export it to Silk Performer as a web project because this is a web service test. If we were testing a .NET object, we'd select the Silk Performer .NET Project option for export. You can also export to Visual Studio, where you can enhance your recorded test cases in an integrated development environment using the C-Sharp programming language. And now let's give the project a name in Silk Performer. And now from here in Silk Performer, we have all the options that Silk Performer offers for configuring load tests and analyzing test results. Thanks for watching.